Hey everybody, <clears throat> hope you guys are doing alright. Um, so, I'm just going to say it like this. Uh, I've said this before, but uh, you know, <clears throat> so for me, um, Joshua, he was my last, like the last friend I've had. And uh, me and him, um, we were in a pretty, um, we were talking all the time for a while actually. Uh, not to mention we both, like I went to his New Orleans and I met him and he actually came here to Oregon and we... Um, so we've spent all together <clears throat> probably close to like a little over four months on the street <laughs> um, together just marching around doing our thing um, and um, but you know in, in, in addition to that we've had a lot of time just talking on the phone <clears throat> um, but we haven't talked and like consistently we've had little bouts that may last like for maybe a week or two um, but we haven't talked consistently in uh probably close to like two years maybe even more than two years so it's in he was the last one so you know um i really have not had <clears throat> um much human interaction especially on a friendly um basis in, in quite some time um and so like you know in in regards to relationships and even friendships like i feel very a part of me just almost wants to just continue to like move on in this isolated like lone wolf type fucking manner but i know it's not what i really want and i know it's not even what i think is is best for me and it's not even like i've come i've almost become a little too comfortable with it and um you know you don't grow much from comfort it's good to have you know like when you when you are pushing yourself it's beautiful to have that time and place to be comfortable because that helps you rest and heal and, and prepare you for the next challenge but to be too comfortable to get into a state of being to where you're you're constantly yeah you might be challenging yourself and, and earning and doing good but you're still in your bubble like you've gotten used to that trajectory that terrain like it no longer challenges you that much it's if you really want to continue to grow it, you would have to go out of your comfort zone and try a different terrain or diff, add in a different factor or variable or challenge and um you know so <clears throat> and, and so it's like for me in order for me to grow as myself and also to add in like to be open to love you know you're gonna i think it's just wise for anybody in any type of situation to really be open to to the challenges that are going to come because it's like the more love in the relationship you know movies put a spin on things i mean some movies do a lot of a better job than others and I, I don't have the best experience in this lifetime but from what i remember collectively in my essence is that you know a lot of the times you know the more most intense relationships come with a lot of the most intense challenges and um, it's the love you guys have for each other to want to continue to grow together um, that can help you persevere, you know, no matter the odds. Uh, and, it, you know, if it's, yeah. I'm sorry, I just, uh, what I've been trying, what I'm trying to get at right now here is that, like, I've been trying to, I haven't been trying, but I've been working hard to present and to share with the world and the online just just my more positive side and the peaceful side and loving side of this whole situation but it doesn't you know inside of me there still remains a lot of uh you know <clears throat> i'm still dealing with my own insecurities and my own like hey is this gonna work out like am i like is this shit back crazy like there still is a lot of that inside of me but there's also this other beautiful like beating you know it feels very pinkish and in, in, in energetic form and pattern and in, in color like predominantly pinkish um feeling i have towards 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 a particular person and um <clears throat> that helps me that helps ground me it helps me continue on and it helps give me faith and confidence that this thing you know the seed for it that the core essence the deepest aspect of it is pure and divine and beautiful and, and the most beautiful thing i've ever wanted and can imagine it in a lot of ways and that is worth fighting for that's worth dying for that's worth living for that's worth loving for that's what dealing with all the you know the aches and pains that go along with <clears throat> you know issues in relationship and life in general it, it's that you know to have the, those moments those sacred moments with with another human being is uh is priceless you know there's no amount of money or gold or materialistic wealth that can the drugs that can give you that type of feeling man and it doesn't just go away either. I mean, even if when it goes away, it's not like a drug to where it's like, oh, my high is gone. No, it's like you got to share a moment, sacred moment with another human being. Connect on a level that, sh you know, it's very rare, especially these days. Like it's it's finding, seeing two people truly in love, like just with their energies, like connected. Like that's a rare thing. And if you can find that 
with somebody else, you know, cherish it. <clears throat> but, you know, along with that, you know, if you guys are really growing in your soul patterns, you know, at least for me, some people might be a little different, but the resistance is, is very, can be very strong. But, you know, that also means that you know, it's only that strong because your love is so strong and that you guys are so strong. Um, you know, I don't know, you know, that's just how I, I feel right now. And, uh, um, excuse me. So, <clears throat> and I, you know, I, I, I remember things, but I'm still myself not as connected to my, you know, we're all really in our true authentic self all the time. I mean, you really, you can't be fake. Even what you're, if what you're saying, you know, might be not how you truly feel. I mean, if you're saying it, then a part of you does truly feel that way. You know, it might not be the image of yourself you most highly resonate with or remember or want to be, but it's still who you are right now. So, um, <clears throat> you know, just try not to, you know, I, I myself too beat myself up a little bit. And one of the things Pops told me when I was in New Orleans, he was like, who do you think your highest self is? Like, what do you think that means to you? He asked me that. And I was like, oh, it's, it's the person, it's the part of yourself that's always doing good and always loving and always doing all these things. And he looked at me and he was like, it's just you, just be you. You know, and his whole point about that was, it's like, it's not about being perfect. It's about, you know, learning from your mistakes and continuing on in a positive manner. You know, and just being real with it. Like, you fuck up, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Teach me. Help me learn. Or if you can't, then, you know, do what you got to do. I'm, I'm aware of it. You know, just, just admit to it. Acknowledge your mistakes. It'll help you grow and learn and, and turn them into lessons. That was essentially what he was saying. And like, so many people out here, especially online, they're all about your highest self and your highest self and the most good. And, da, 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 da. and that's all good and dandy to strive for that. But just also be you. Like, nobody is completely without flaw. Like, you know, and if you are, then you better be, you know, doing everything you can to save the children and fight this evil beast and not be holding down any type of millions. Of, I mean, so what I'm saying is, like, we all got stuff to learn on. I haven't met anybody in this realm, myself, Joshua, anybody that doesn't have things to work on. And I just think that's the way it is because... If you wouldn't, you'd literally be a beam of light floating in here, giving love to everybody and helping out the kids and doing all these things, which is where we all are moving towards, but we're not there yet. And even when you get there, there's got to be still more challenges. And I think that might be when you enter into another dimension, which has its own set of challenges and rigors. But until then, you know, and then, of course, when you get there, you're going to have to do a lot of work, too. It's going to have its own resistance. So even getting to that level is still going to have its own different level of resistance in accordance to that level of strength and capability. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off tangent here. So I just wanted to <clears throat> just, you know, just share just how I'm feeling right now and that I hope everybody's doing all right and you all take care. All right. Love you guys. Bye.